Next, we have the story about a famous patriotic song, The Battle Hymn of the Republic. It's an American patriotic song with lyrics by Julia Ward Howe that became popular during the Civil War. The tune links the American Civil War with Judgment of the Wicked by quoting verses from the Bible in Isaiah 63, 1-6 and Revelations 14, 19, and it immediately spread throughout the northern and southern United States. However, revisiting this song will give us key insights into the current crisis-ridden world during this momentous time in American history. The tune of the song was originally a hymn in Southern folk tradition recorded in the early 19th century. The original words and music were written by South Carolinian William Steff. It is also called Canaan's Happy Shore or Brothers Will You Meet Me and was sung as campfire soul music. It was later adapted by Thomas Bishop into the song John Brown's Body. Julia Ward Howe, born in New York City in 1819, was an American abolitionist, activist and poet who strongly supported unity. She and her husband, the famous Massachusetts reformer, Dr. Samuel Gridley Howe, were visiting Washington, D.C. when they saw the army south of the Potomac River and sang the popular song, John Brown's Body, with the soldiers. A friend at the time suggested that she fill in new lyrics for the marching song. On the night of November 18, 1861, she recalls, I went to bed that night as usual and slept, according to my want, quite soundly. I awoke in the gray of the morning twilight and as I lay waiting for the dawn, the long lines of the desired poem began to twine themselves in my mind. Having thought out all the stanzas, I said to myself, I must get up and write these verses down, lest I fall asleep again and forget them. So she got out of bed and wrote down these lyrics. The Song of Divine Origin has endured not only because it's lively, but also because its lyrics are patriotic, religious, and celebrate liberty. Today we hear this sacred song at every inauguration of a new president and other important festivals. Yet many of our elected officials and politicians see it only as a traditional ritual. And how many of them can appreciate the divine teachings and revelations conveyed in the song? How many are able to continue to practice God's teaching amid the deceptions and temptations of the devil in different guises? We often hear the phrase, God bless America, because the founding of the United States is rooted in God. But as more and more people turn away from God's teachings, what will be the results? As I revisited these lyrics, I was reminded of God's mercy. We are all like lost lambs in the world, having been away from God for far too long. It is time to return to tradition. It is time to return to God. And that's it for today, my friends. Check out the playlist right here for more eye-opening content. You can join me in the Eye Opener Telegram chat room and follow me on Newmaker, Gab, Parlor, and Getter. Don't forget, please sign up to the email list so that we can stay in touch. I'd like to thank you all and have a wonderful weekend.